Hello guys, so to start developing on Unity, the first thing that you need is actually Unity. And I'm going to show to you how you can download Unity and install the right version that we're going to use uh, in the classes. So the first thing that you need to do is actually to go to Unity site and try to download the game, uh, the, the last version of Unity Hub there. Okay, so I'm going to go here. And I'm just going to type like Unity download on Google and it should be the first link. Oh, OK, so this is actually the second link. The first one is an ad. So the first link of Google besides the ad is download Unity. You're going to click this one. If you have any questions, it's unity3d.com slash get Unity slash download. OK, this my page is actually in Portuguese. Let me get this page in English. OK, so all right, so we have we need to have Unity Hub in order to download Unity. So that's the, the, the software that is going to allow us to use uh, Unity. So what I'm going to do right here is to download this Unity Hub. OK, you can choose your Unity and download, but I'm going to choose this one. So when you choose Unity Hub, you're going to download this file right here. OK, Unity Hub setup. You're going to open this file. All right, and then you will have this. Okay, it's in Portuguese because my machine is in Portuguese, but basically that's this order of service that you have. You need to read everything right here, agreed. Here is the path of the folder where Unity Hub will be installed. So just to wait a little bit in order to install the latest, the latest version of Unity Hub. And then execute in tab. All right, so that's Unity Hub. Of course, my Unity Hub already have some projects because I've been using Unity for a while right here. Okay, I'm not gonna use the beta. I'm gonna use the official release. In order to have the latest version of Unity, you need to install the latest version in right here. So this is the project area where we are going to start a new project later. And here is install. So I'm gonna click here on stalls. I have myself a lot of versions of Unity. You may have not, um, maybe you have one, but if you don't have any version, you're gonna go right here, add. And then you're going to select recommended release 2020.3.23. It may vary depending on when you're watching this video, but this is the, the release that we're going to use on the class. Uh, maybe it's even if it's not exactly the same version, the last numbers right here is going to work uh, properly because it's, it doesn't actually vary a lot when you're only are speaking on the last versions. What is going to have a lot of differences if in case you use like maybe Unity 2021 or Unity 2019. So try to use the recommended release right here. So go next. You don't need to select anything right here. You can, if you want to select Visual Studio, if you want to download Visual Studio as well, and even the documentation for Unity, so you can use the documentation in here. But Unity itself, it's only Unity. You don't need to add any modules in order to work. So done. After click done, you're going to start downloading the version right here. After it's complete, you can go on project. Add new and here select the right version that you're using and then click new and start a new project right here. 